I'm out here today with another one of our popular tools of the trade videos where I look at different things that are of interest to shooters, not necessarily guns themselves, but uh, accessories and things that would be of interest to shooters. Hope you enjoy it. What I've got here is a brand new product from Olight. It's introducing today. This is the PL Turbo Weapon Light. It's a really neat little weapon light. It runs 800 lumens. And that's a really nice bright light. It throws to 515 meters. Works wonderfully. It has two tail cap switches on it. it. So it works from either side. And if you hit both tail cap switches simultaneously, you get a really nice strobe mode, which would do a whole lot to disorient a possible attacker if you've got this thing on a defensive gun. I've got this mounted on a Henry Big Boy X model, 44 Magnum. Really neat little rifle. It's got a little bit of a rail right here in the front. It's got a couple inches of rail in, in the front end, the fore end. Perfect for attaching a weapon light such as this Olight PL Turbo. One of the really cool things about Olight is they often use really innovative mounting technology, and this one is no different. It's got a new mounting system on it. It's very easy to use. All you do is you unscrew this screw on the side a little bit, push it, it comes right off. Then you can easily swap this to another weapon. Right here I've got a Talo exclusive Taurus TX-22 American flag version. It's got a nice little American flag engraved into the slide. A really cool little version of that. And it's very easy to just pop right on there. You tighten that back up and you're good to go there. This thing projects to 515 feet. It makes a nice floodlight or spotlight really illuminates the night and allows you to see your sights very well and especially if you're using this on a defensive type firearm the strobe setting can really do a lot for you in a social work situation the mounting system features a neat little innovation that's a sliding block that allows you to fine tune where the light's going to ride on your rail so it just perfectly falls underneath your fingers where you want it to go Easy to adjust and easy to put this right where you want it. Makes it adaptable to a whole lot of different type of guns. The sliding rail mount that's built into the PL Turbo allows you to use this for short or long setups for any rail that's 1913 Picatinny spec or Glock spec. The PL Turbo takes two of the fat little CR123A batteries and to get to that there's a little door here that you flip up and it allows the end cap to hinge. The batteries are right in there really easy to get to. You can get rechargeable CR123As, which is what I use and I recommend. They work great in this Olight PL Turbo. These are made from anodized aluminum, not plastic, so they're tough as a pine knot. They're light in weight. MSRP of the PL Turbo is $89.99, and that's a good deal right there, considering what you have to pay for a lot of weapon lights these days. But during Olight's OFAN Day event, which is their product rollout for this that runs from September 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time until September 23rd at midnight Eastern Time. That's 11.59.59 Eastern Time on the 23rd. They're offering these for 30% off, which is $62.99. You get onto their website and check these out. It's a really neat, durable, and handy weapon light from the folks at Olight. I've got this Olight Valkyrie mounted to a Henry Big Boy X Model 44 Magnum. It's uh, got a little bit of a rail out here on the front of the fore end. Works just wonderfully for the Olight. Now I've got this Olight Valkyrie mounted to a really neat little 22 pistol. This is a Taurus TX-22 American flag version. It's got an American flag etched into the slide. This is a Talo exclusive version only available from Talo distributors, but it's a great little pistol. 
I chose it because it has an extremely short rail under the dust cover. Uh, it's only got like one and a half slots in it and even with the size of this Olight with its adjustability it was very easy to fit it to the short rail on this pistol or the longer rail on the Henry rifle. It's a very versatile mounting system for this and it takes longer to tell you how to do it than it does to do it. It just takes seconds to swap these out. Another neat thing about the Olight Valkyrie, it's got switches on either side, but if you hit both switches at the same time, it strobes for you. It really would disorient an attacker. Olight's big product rollout event, which they're calling OFAN Day, is going to run from Tuesday the 19th of September 2023 at uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time until Saturday the 23rd of September 2023 at midnight that is 11 59 59 p.m. During that time they will have special pricing on the PL Turbo Weapon Light and they'll also have free gifts for those of you who log into their website. If you're new to the Olight store and you've never bought from them online before you can go to their website and uh, create a login and use that and get a free i3e keychain flashlight. The i3e EOS keychain flashlight is a really neat little light it's made from aircraft grade aluminum it's available in either orange or olight blue i really like the olight blue it's machined for easy gripping it takes one triple a battery and it's just barely bigger than the triple a battery this is a neat little light that you can have on your keychain at all times it operates by twisting and when you twist it you get a 90 degree beam a very nice little basic aluminum flashlight the i3e eos from olight the i3e EOS sells for $12.99, but they are free if you log in for the first time to Olight during the OFAN Day event. If you've bought from Olight before and already used their website, created your login and all that, you get an even better bonus. During the OFAN Day event, you can get for free the I1R2 Center keychain flashlight. This is a nicer flashlight than the i3e in several ways. First of all, it's a little bit shorter than the i3e a little bit larger in diameter but it's very lightweight and very small easy to have on your keychain at all times and it's a really handy little deal rather than taking like a standard AAA battery like the i3e does the i1r2 unscrews a little bit and out pops a USB-C connector so this is rechargeable with a USB-C commonly found connectors it's all sealed up with an o-ring and these also have two output levels. You have a standard level that you just twist until that comes on and you get like a 60 lumen, I think it is. I forget exactly what that is, but you twist it a little bit more and it dials it on up to 180 lumens. They say it'll run for 12 hours like that. So this is a really handy little light to have. These sell for $21.99, but as I said, if you log in during the OFAN Day event and you've got an existing login, you can get this for free.
I've got here a really nifty, simple little item that makes you go, man, why didn't I think about that? This is a Kydex no drill cheek rest from Patriots.com. Kind of an unfortunate name for a company to me because you don't want to associate yourself with a cuss word, or at least I wouldn't, but they didn't ask me. Either way, they make a really innovative, really neat little inexpensive but really effective product here. A lot of rifles these days come equipped and designed for scope sights. I mean, scopes have been around for quite some time now, probably 150 years or more, and I guess they're here to stay. Some rifles, though, were not really designed with scopes in mind, and the stocks on those kind of rifles are not necessarily conducive to using a scope because you can't get a good cheek weld if you've got a scope mounted onto it. This rifle here, is a Henry Big Boy X model 44 Magnum. Really neat little rifle. It's more of a modern design rifle, but as such, the composite stock still does not have a cheek riser on it, which is not a bad thing if you're using these for open sights. They're just right for use with open sights, which is how they were designed. But being a more modern design rifle, it's got uh, M-lock slots on the front of it. It's got a Picatinny rail under the bottom of the fore end, and it's, it's just made really to be a more modern carbine, you want to mount a scope on something like this. The scope that I've got on here, which is perfect for this kind of an application where you're not shooting ultra long range with a 44 Magnum, is Loophole's Hammer. They unfortunately no longer make this scope, but I found it to be one of the most effective and most useful scopes of its type that I've ever seen. I've had this one for over 10 years and it served me well in a number of different applications. It's got four power magnification in the scope and above the scope, you've got a delta point non-magnified dot sight. These are really handy for medium range to close range work and it's just perfect for something like this Henry 44. Only thing is, this is not a low mounted scope by any means. It's wonderful, but it sets your eye level about an inch and a half above where your eye has to set for the iron sights. Because of that, if you use a proper cheek weld on the factory buttstock, your eye's gonna be too low to look through the scope. So you either have to hold your head up above it or get yourself a cheek rest. That's where the Kydex no drill cheek rest comes in. It's a really nifty idea. All it is is a piece of Kydex bent and shaped to approximate like a Monte Carlo type buttstock and it attaches to your stock with two large Velcro pads. The size of the Velcro pads allows you to adjust this up and down that and the placement of where you put it on your buttstock. You can get as high a cheek rest as you want. I've got this thing where it's sitting about three quarters of an inch above at the rear and about a half inch above at the front so it kind of tapers backwards sort of like a weatherby stock and it really does a great job of putting my eye where it needs to be to look through that scope these things are super easy to install with no tools required or anything like that you just apply the velcro strips and you're good to go after you get them on they're easy to peel off and adjust however you need to they just come right off you can adjust them up and down forward or backwards however you want to do that it's a really great idea and really well executed. You can get these in black, gray, flat dark earth, green, brown, leather brown, gray, and even pink if you want it. So you can match these up to whatever kind of rifle you're wanting to put them on. They're only $39.99 from Patriot.com. And they're just this easy to put back on too. All you do is just get them worked down to the place where you want them to be. Get that set like I had it and you're all good to go. The folks who run Patriot Shit also run a YouTube channel called Therapy Range. You can check them out on YouTube or go to PatriotShit.com to have a look at this and other products that they offer. Today we're out here uh, shooting and looking at this new uh, rifle from Ruger. It's called the Ruger American, and it's a bolt-action rifle. Uh, Ruger's had bolt-action rifles since the mid-60s, but uh, 
Uh, it, this rifle is not based on the Model 77. Well, crap.